A medical intern who almost caused a doctor's strike at Port of Spain General Hospital after she claimed she was robbed at gunpoint at the facility has been dismissed from the hospital. This was confirmed on Friday by the Minister of Health, Terence Dial Singh. Peter Christopher reports. Less than two weeks after making a false report concerning a robbery at the Port of Spain General Hospital, a female medical intern attached to the facility has been fired. The decision was made by a committee headed by the Permanent Secretary of the Ministry, which also featured the Chief Medical Officer, the Legal Officer and the Director of Human Resources of the Ministry of Health. The committee met with the intern before making their decision. And at the end of the day, the decision of that committee headed by the Permanent Secretary, I played no part, was to terminate the services of the intern as of Wednesday of this week. The intern had claimed that on Sunday, October 23rd, she was robbed at gunpoint. When news of the robbery spread, doctors at the hospital threatened industrial action, citing safety concerns. That industrial action was eventually quashed when a ministry release stated that the robbery report was indeed false. Minister Dial Singh said he instructed his committee to be compassionate, but also understood a firm stance had to be taken. We had to treat with her compassionately because this is a human being um, who did something I think that she regrets. We had to be firm because the whole healthcare system was in danger and lives were going to be put at danger because her colleagues had decided to take industrial action. And natural justice had to be made. All sides had to be made. He said the dismissal of the Indian does not mean that doctors' concerns about safety are without validity. Because there are legitimate security concerns which I will deal with. Having said all of that, I have an overarching responsibility to protect the integrity of the public health care system. The minister stressed that many of our medical practitioners were educated through the use of taxpayers' funds and as such have a special obligation to the public. However, despite this assertion, he said he still viewed the intern as a valued member of society and had no position regarding taking further action against her. Peter Christopher, C News.